So today we're gonna make a furniture system. So basically we can just like plate furniture. It's gonna be really, really fucking simple. So just, just, just follow along, okay? So first things first, we're gonna create a folder called furniture system. So it's organized and stuff. We're gonna have a material called matte uh, green and another one uh, matte red. Like that. So open the green one, open the red one. So in the green one, uh, we are going to go to blend mode and make it translucent uh so for the red one as well yeah 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 Plan. yeah yeah it's fucking save it fuck you fam so for the red one as well so by pressing forward on your keyboard just hold forward and uh, press it's gonna add a constant or uh, you can actually just uh, yeah, write constant there should be constant constant two three and four we had uh putting four right here. and another one constant one so if you press key on your keyboard one it should add so the fourth one the constant four you're gonna go to base color the constant will go to opacity so the color will be green so start green and opacity like 0 0.5 you can copy and paste it in the red one so the same thing except the colors will change to red so let's get the beautiful red here and apply now let's go to blueprint like that. Now let's get this BP uh, object. So this will be our object. Open that up. We can actually close the materials up. We're gonna add a component called a mesh. Real simple. A static mesh, you know. And just just hold it and drag it into the default scene root. And I just realized uh, I do not have details. So we're gonna have a function called can uh, spawn question mark and right here we're gonna have a branch so add a branch and let's add get overlapped actor actors from the overlapped actors we're gonna have a length and if it's greater than zero so basically it's overlapping from the true set material static mesh let's put that here and another one that's gonna be for the false one so the true is the red one so red material that we just created and the second one is the green one and now we're gonna have a variable called uh spawn question mark because it's a boolean you know? so the first one should be unchecked and the second one should should be checked so that's basically it for this one for this function second uh function will be a place objects so let's get that branch so spawn if we if the spawn is true we're gonna set material materials the material and the material is basically we're gonna just promote it because we will need it later let's just put it right there or actually below it and now uh from the static mesh set collision uh profile name and the uh, collision profile name is basically the collision name so if you go to mesh static mesh Go to collisions. There should be like collision presets. So basically that is the name. So let's write the block. If it's gonna write block all dynamic. Hopefully it's gonna work. And let's change the collision preset to overlap all dynamic. Compound set. Boom. That's that's basically it here. So that's that's all we have to do here. We can close that up. Let's go to our third person and third person character. Now, now the complicated shit is going to actually happen. So we're gonna have a function called try placing. Right here is gonna is gonna get complicated. Okay, just a little bit, just a little complicated. So basically, we're gonna um, have some variables like placing. We can do is placing. I don't care. And spawn object. So the spawn object will be the BP object. It's gonna be a, an object reference. So that's basically all the variables you will need. For the try placing, right here, just click on it. There should be inputs. Click on input and let's do an actor. Just call it actor. And it's going to be BP object. Uh, you can see there's like object reference, class reference, like soft object reference, soft class. I don't even I don't even know what the fuck they are. So let's just have class reference. Yeah. So now we will have a branch to check and a line trace by channel. Just a normal line trace. So you can actually place the object. So now we actually going to place, you know, stuff. Uh, let's get the camera, get location, border location, and get 
rotation to the world the rotation so for the world location it's going to go into the start one and we're gonna actually add a plus so we're gonna add and that's going to go into the end so now for the world rotation forward vector multiply and the pin will be a float and let's add like 15,000 15 15 I think that's 50 and add that into the add so now it's gonna add this one so that's basically it for here for the branch we're gonna have placing and now we're gonna from the return value add a branch out hit we're gonna break it I think we have done this before so uh, so it's basically a uh, line tracing so now the complicated stuff we're gonna ha uh, happen. The, this is not complicated, but this is just we are getting the camera's uh, location, you know. That. Right here will yeah, get complicated. So from the uh, true, we're gonna have spawn object is valid. And let's just copy and paste because we only need two of them. So the true and the false. So the first one is valid. Uh, set actors set actors location and the target is the spawn object location is the location from the hit result and uh, is not valid is a uh, spawn actor from class so right here we can actually spawn the class is well this pin right here we can make it neater, of course. And the spawn transfer, we can just pull it the structure up. And the spawn transfer location is the location as well. So that's that and is valid from the second one. So the false branch. We are basically going to destroy the actor. Oh, this is this is a fucking mess. Jesus Christ, it's like spaghetti, man. So what we want to do now is from the spawn actor, we actually want to get the spawn can spawn function. So can we actually spawn the actor in? So we're gonna set the spawn right here and basically get material. And set materi material, there should be this spin. Plug that into there, plug the execute pin. So we're basically gonna copy from here, the spawn, plug that in, plug that into the pin right there. So hopefully we are done, it should be okay. If something breaks, yeah, don't ask me, okay? So what we can do now is right click on the BP object, create your child, let's call this a uh, uh, box. BP. I should rec uh, I should recommend like putting the BP in front of it. Just don't just don't put like box. You can just open the box up. Go to stag mesh and add the uh, uh, fucking box, man. <laughs> Bam! Thank you, mean thank cube. Uh, you can create like as many as you want. We're gonna create another one. Old BP cone, I guess. So this one will be a cone so let's go back to the third person character let's go to event graph and let's add a hotkey so we can actually start placing our uh, objects so let's add one so i added uh three objects so you can add as many as you want i have three so i will have three hotkeys now from the press we will add placing so for every single hotkey we're gonna add a uh, placing we're gonna check the bars as well and then we're gonna get try uh, placing so that's the main function and then we're gonna add box so just add all the objects cone and the last one and let's add the delay delay so this is really important just add the delay and uh, to everyone and the complete will go back to try placing so it's basically go going to loop uh, so if we compile and test it out real quick play yes thank you you can see by pressing one a green box will appear and when we walk into it it's going to become red so basically it works it works fantastically you can see we cannot place it yet 
but we're gonna add the function but it will quick and it looks actually fabulous so now we're gonna add so we can actually play so left mouse button so i think yeah with the left mouse button you can actually place i'm gonna get spawn object and then place object so the function in the spawn object then we're gonna get can no we're gonna get spawn question mark so the boolean that we created so just get that and set it as a branch bam and the last thing we're gonna just add placing and set spawn object so that's basically it for it, it's basically we are just done if we test it out and pr press and you can see we are actually placing objects so we basically done it let's go uh <laughs> as you can see we can actually place so i found a little bug so if you actually end you can see we, we have a first bug wow you know cool what we have to do if i'm correct is just check is valid it, it literally fixes everything if you just check is valid so if we check that by the way it fixes basically everything i don't know why it just does you know but if we actually like play stuff now just randomly i think it should yep three bucks let's go that was easy <laughs> we just we just put this valid and it works wow so if you enjoyed uh leave a like you know do whatever i will try posting more of this content but it's really hard to edit so uh, i will i will try my best okay